Hi team, thanks for tuning in. This is Rider Skills. I'm Neil, your host on today's hints and tips on vanishing points. Now, it also gives me a chance to introduce twitism and, if you like, twatism. We're going to do some two wheeled intensive or advanced training in seven minutes. Okay, now, vanishing points doesn't matter whether you're riding or whether you're driving. Same rules apply. A bend is a bend, a road is a road. This footage taken after a recent trip. We're riding home from Yankilala after camping in the South Australia coastal region. And uh, great footage to show some good examples of vanishing points. So first you need to hit pause and read the screen, absorb what it says, and then come back at me. Hit play. So hit the pause button. Okay, I'm presuming you're back. You've read it. I hope you've absorbed it. You've hit play. I know you have because you're listening to this. Right, so let's crack on. Okay, we're straight into it. Left hand bend. It's getting closer. Is that vanishing point. It's just starting to move away. And as it does... Can get onto the power look at that straight bit of road the vanishing points moved you've got a left hand bend coming up vanishing point is getting closer so you don't really want to be accelerating it's starting to move now as you start moving away and you can start accelerating it's tightened up again there slowing down back on the power we've got a right hand bend immediately here the right and as you can see the vanishing points gone off to the right in the distance so that point you can actually get on the power and start accelerating away let's fade it out let's get into a different section Okay, what we've got here, we've also got a hill going up over a rise. Your vanishing point can also be in a straight line. In this instance, it's a slight right hand bend, but you've still got to be able to stop in the distance you can see on your side of the road. Look at that sign on the left, some major clues here. Right, you can see your vanishing point in the distance, it's still some distance away, so you're not having to scrub that speed off too, too early. As you approach, that vanishing point is getting closer, but you can see the road and the vanishing point moving away to you, to your left. Again, Another rise, it's going up. We've got Armco, and as you can see, your vanishing point's right under the trees there, and up. As you can see here, we're looking at a straight bit of road. Maybe it goes slightly skewed, just to the right and then left. As you can see, again, nice sign here on your left hand side, giving you some clues. Take notice of them. We've got a right hand bend. And chevrons gives you an idea of how tight it is and the, the, how close that vanishing point came to you. You do not want to be accelerating too hard through there. Again, right and bend. Vanishing points closing, closing and starting to move away. And look at that, straight onto a straight bit of road. Another bend, right and bend. We're going down in a circle at this rate. Nice bend coming up. It's getting closer, it's quite tight and then it starts moving away into a straight. Fading out, it's a new section of road coming up now. A couple of tighter ones coming up. Look at that sign on your left, that's a biker's dream. Okay, slight right to left, but your vanishing point is on your left hand corner there and it's coming up quite quickly. You don't accelerate there, hold your pace. Look at that, how tight are you? You don't want to be accelerating because it's just not moving away from you. At this point, the vanishing point's moving to your right. Opens up. Slowing down, slowing down. Look how close that vanishing point is. As it starts moving away from you, you can start getting on the power again. And as you say, it's moving away into a right hand bend. You're getting close from the tree lines. The vanishing point's moving away into a straight bit of road and then into a left hand. It's swapping from side to side, slowing it down there and then back on the power as the vanishing point moved away. New section here, big wider road. Same rules apply, just going a bit quicker. Got a good gauge from a vehicle in front there as well. You can see your vanishing point at the bottom of the hillside. And that's your, that's your braking distance, if you so require. Big left hand bend now. Again, that is a good marker point, is that car in front. You can see which way the road's going to go at the bottom of this hillside to the right. You can see where it's going on to the left. You've got a vanishing point, has gone. The car in front's gone. It's tightened up slightly. And then opens up, your vanishing point appears and moves down the road. Here, we can 
pretty much see we're going to be going around to the right hand side of this to the left hand side of this hillside and this car will look like it's going to be a decent marker and a good marking point good vanishing point marker watch it it stays at that distance which means you can stay at the same speed all the way around it's not pulling away and you're not catching it so you can keep that pace and that distance as we exit the bend the road opens up the vanishing point disappears off into the distance and there's your lovely countryside down there, your lovely coastal town. So that's a very basic explanation of vanishing points. There's no substitution for riding and practicing when it comes to learning to understand a particular biking technique. The main point here is always having your back in mind. Can I stop on my side of the road in the distance that I can see? The reason to reiterate that particular point is it's all about safety understanding that vanishing point is just one of the ingredients to mastering smooth safe road riding and road reading we're not racing or teaching road positioning in this particular upload however always remember to open up your view of your exit the best you can um, by a more prominent position to the left for right hand bends or to the right for left hand bends but allowing for a safety margin as well. You don't want to be on the crown of the road or in the gutter. Um, you've got to have a bit of room in case you get you overcook it or somebody comes the other way and is encroaching on your lane. Um, have a bit. You don't want to be running off or colliding with anybody. God forbid. Um, there are exemptions to that positioning. However, uh, like a tighter line on a left-hand bend if you're in a country that rides on the left and you're going to left to right, you might want to be really tight on the left to give yourself a better entrance into the right-hand bend. However, as I said, this is more a basic understanding of the, of the theory. Um, best thing to do now is get out and practice. Do it on a familiar road that you know. Enjoy it and go steady, nice and easy, and build up to a nice, comfortable, smooth speed and get used to reading the road. Recognise when you need to use your vanishing points and go for it. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I'm thick skinned, got a leather jacket on. And uh, yeah, give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.